back end of the application uh, that, that is the uh, database and the code that talks to the database. We'll build that portion um, on two different database platforms. Um, one will be uh, a document database uh, or a NoSQL database. Who's heard of NoSQL? All right, and relational databases? Like, cool. So like things like MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, those are a relational database. Pretty traditional database technology has been around for decades, literally, um, and does its job well. Uh, there's a, as Tom mentioned, with who has a cell phone? Who <laughs> likes to use it to browse the internet? Yeah, so that's a lot of information going to a lot of different apps, right? And the num those number of devices and the amount of data they're pushing back and forth has exploded, right? over the last 10 years or so, eight years. Um, so the, this is demanding different types of technology to store and track that information. So this is where document databases come in. And uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna build a, a the document database, NoSQL, called CouchDB. Um, it's schemaless, so you can relax. That's like their motto, just relax. Uh, so it's CouchDB for an app, and then we'll turn around and rewrite the same back end now on a relational platform too hook that up to a front-end application and swap out the back-ends at will and you'll be able to see um, some advantages to using an API to separate the, the front-end application logic from the database logic and get to see the same requirements being built on two totally different platforms. Which is going to be cool. So that's yeah. my question, of course. And, and all during that time, as Tom mentioned, there's a functional programming running through the course and that will extend even into the to the uh, databases, we'll, we'll, we'll explore functional programming and some of those concepts and how they can be applied with, on the database. Great. Yeah, 